You're ready to go and do something, finish something, achieve something, something epic. You just had your first workout and you feel amazing. And to top it off, you eat a healthy meal. You know what? You eat healthy for the rest of the day. And you go to bed on time and set an early alarm. You look forward to the next workout and the healthy food tomorrow. You are ready to go and kill tomorrow. The next morning you wake up and... You snooze and you wake up later than you wanted and start watching your favorite Netflix series for the entire day. So why do you sometimes lack motivation and can you fix this? A lot of us have goals and dreams or simply put just things that we really like and would really like to achieve, but finding motivation can be hard. Sometimes it might even feel impossible. Some of us maybe hope to just one day wake up and hope we have motivation, but does it work like this? Okay, so let's real quickly look at the science of motivation. Something that plays a big role when we talk about motivation is dopamine and specifically which pathway the dopamine signals take. Eventually, dopamine goes to the most important reward pathway in the brain, the cerebral cortex. And things get even more complicated than this, but we're close to the punchline, believe me. When dopamine arrives in large amounts at the nucleus accumbens, it triggers feedback for predicting rewards. That means that dopamine kicks in before we get rewarded. So instead of a spike in dopamine being a reaction to something that happened, could be anything, it makes us react in a certain way because it predicts something is going to happen. So when you want to hack your dopamine to boost your productivity and boost your motivation, you want to think about things like this. Your goals. Think about things you want to achieve and write things down, right? Accomplishments, big or small, and keep track of your progress. Things like that help a lot. Talk about your goals, talk about your dreams. This really helps as well. And talking with people that are like-minded, you probably hear this a lot on the internet, surround yourself with like-minded people. But this really helps when you are talking about something that you really like. What does this all mean? Well, so do you wake up randomly one day with more motivation than the other day? Not really. You probably thought about something that motivated you, you maybe just watched a motivational video or you saw something on Instagram, something like that. And this could be just now, like when you woke up and scrolling through your phone you saw something epic. Or it could be also the previous day when you talk with people about dreams or stuff like that with like-minded people. Or you saw something on Instagram or YouTube on that day. So if when you wake up, one of the first things you do is thinking about your goals and dreams and maybe even look at some of the progress and write down some notes, this could boost your dopamine levels immensely, which will give you motivation for the day or at least enough motivation to start the day right. Also, what's interesting, most people always thought dopamine was linked to pleasure, but dopamine levels also spike during moments of stress. An example is, Soldiers with PTSD, their dopamine levels spiked after hearing shots. Definitely not something pleasant. So this could be the reason you feel very motivated when there is a negative influence around you, like people laughing at your goals and dreams. Let's hack your brain. There are actually a lot of ways to do this according to the internet. Here are two of my favorites and these are the two most effective from my experience and science agrees that they're effective. A brain functions better when the lifestyle is healthier and there are some lifestyle hacks that could boost your dopamine and thus your motivation and productivity. My number one is diet getting your food on point. Eating proper meals, eating regularly throughout the day, getting in your healthy fats, your fibers, enough fruit, your veggies, stuff like that. Sort of really start looking at food that it is fuel, that it fuels you rather than, oh, I like this, so I'm gonna put it in my mouth. That's what she said. Yeah. Number two is exercise. Go get active. Lifting weights, doing calisthenics, that's all really good, but I'm also talking about getting active throughout the day. Just sometimes going outside and going for a 10, 20 minute walk. It actually has been proven that a 20 minute walk could provide up to two hours after the walk of better focus. Greater brain activity. There are a lot more. For example, take 10 to 15 minute power naps, specific dopamine filled foods or brain foods like pumpkin seeds, cacao, tomatoes, sesame seeds, milk, blueberries, nuts and seeds, broccoli, leafy green vegetables, avocados, fish, dark chocolate, etc. And a lot more hacks. If they work, debatable. 
Some people say, fuck motivation. Discipline is what gets you there. And there is some truth in that. But look at it like this. You are disciplined because you have a clear vision of where you want to go and that, that is what keeps you going. You have found the right motivation. There is also an insane amount of information out there about the right mindset, asking yourself the right questions, and even studies showing that when there was money involved as a motivation, it isn't always a positive thing, especially when it comes down to more creative tasks. It all sort of comes down to something that I say a lot in this channel, and that is do what you love. Do what you love in every single aspect of life where possible and stay motivated. And you stay motivated because you're thinking about it constantly, thinking about where you wanna go, your goals, how you're progressing, maybe write even things down. And that is because you're doing something that you love. Thus, you're, you're thinking about it constantly. Also something a lot of people ask me when I'm helping them with the journey, fitness, calisthenics related, and they wanna lose weight. They wanna do cardio, but they hate cardio. They hate the treadmill, they hate the Stairmasters, they hate, they hate the gym, everything in there, they hate it. And they're not gonna do cardio because they hate it. But do you hate football? Or do you hate basketball? Or do you, do you hate another sport? Go do that instead. Burn the calories with that instead. And you, you're gonna do that because you love it. You love that sport, you love what you, so find what you love. I want to end this video off with one really big tip that has really helped me. Keep it simple, start with the basics of everything. And by the way, don't start tomorrow or don't start 1st of January, New Year, yes, start today. An example would be people running to gyms on the 1st of January, getting that gym membership. You wanna make a change? Start at home. Start with the body with basics and see how you like that and maybe even love it. If you want some more tips on how to get started, I created a free video, links in the description, first link, completely free, you can check it out. Three things that you need to know when you start working out or when you're working out. Three things that you need to know. Check it out. First link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you in the next episode. These episodes take quite a lot of time to make, so hey, smash the like, subscribe, hit the bell. You know how it is. I love you back.